Okay, so I just want to whiz you through the current Robo Shadow functionality. Once you've logged in and you've downloaded one of the free Windows agents, you effectively get a cybersecurity snapshot of your whole entire Windows estate. So the top bar here is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, the next one down is the full CVE vulnerabilities that are threatening your Windows environment. And we've got some handy top five tips here. I'll show you a bit more on that later. The next section is not just stereotypical Windows Defender and allows you to pass a penetration test by being able to demonstrate that you centrally uh, can control antivirus we will also report on the third party AV because most environments these days are a combination of lots of different types of antivirus so the good ones will report back to the window system if it's enabled um, or, up, or needs updates or whatever so next one down is Windows updates fairly self-explanatory but just gives you a good eye on Windows updates you need that to be able to or demonstrate that you were able to report on Windows updates to pass a internal penetration test we've also got the BitLocker encryption piece so again Again, you can argue validity around unencrypted servers and workstations if they're in locked offices, but it's still an item that comes up on internal penetration tests. Um, but unencrypted laptops is a big no-no. So this one here will report on any laptops that you've got that are not encrypted currently. That one seems to be very, very handy. And this is one of the things that people miss quite often is the ability to reconcile with what they call in a penetration test primary user store. So that can be either um, on-prem Active Directory, Windows um, uh, Active Directory in, in Azure Active Directory, um, or um, something like Google Workspaces or something like that. So what this allows you to do is it will set, you'll set up a synchronization job and you can do that via this menu. And then you can see what machines don't have a Robo Shadow agent on and are therefore not being controlled from a cybersecurity perspective or at least reported on from a cybersecurity perspective. So your ability to reconcile with a primary user store is one of the fundamental failures that we see in a lot of penetration tests. So, so that's effectively the main dashboard, but I'll go into um, a couple other bits in a second just to go into a bit more detail on some of the things we've spoken about previously, but also we have an external scanner. So this is for your full external attack surface and that is to cover IPs of data centers or cloud environments or office locations. You can even put website addresses in there as well and get the full OWASP scanning utility as well. So what we're trying to do here within RoboShadow is give people free access to the ability to scan their external attack surface but also report on the zero trust capability of a lot of their internal devices as well. So this is something that's, that's currently under a, a massive redesign at the moment based on user feedback. So in terms of uh, the vulnerability report, so this is, we think, fairly new from an industry perspective. So people get obsessed with individual CVEs, but what you want to understand is what's my worst individual app? What's my worst application across the whole estate? So one app may have a large uh, vulnerability rating, but only be seen once or twice, but you may have 50 versions of a small vulnerability rating application that's causing havoc across the environment. So it's really important to understand what's the worst individual application out there what's the worst one if you um, adjust that for the whole population of the estate and then also what are the worst devices out there as well and we'll give the, the usernames as well so so that's a fairly popular um, look we think is fairly unique look at uh, your current uh, setup for vulnerabilities so this is just a bit more about the Windows Defender piece and as, as I said this isn't just Windows Defender it's basically your anti malware in general so quite a lot of environments as I said have got a mixture this will allow you to understand the core fundamental principles it gives you the full defender items including ransomware and tamper protection as well um, but we'll um, go into detail in terms of if it spots third-party AV and if it feels that there are something that needs to be updated or enabled in the third-party AV um, and there's lots of handy tool tips that allow you to have a look at things in a bit more detail so the other bit that I will show you just quickly is just the disk encryption piece it's just that this uh, day in this day and age you really need to be able to demonstrate your encryption capabilities um, uh, specifically with external laptops and this screen is a lovely little window to help organizations manage that better so just to let you know in terms of the downloads page uh, we do have the Linux Mac and Google Chromebook um, agents coming they are in development at the moment but we just wanted to concentrate on Windows 
those. That seems to be where we got a lot uh, of the requests for in the first place. Um, and also making sure that people can reconcile, uh, if you click on the synchronization section, be able to reconcile with Azure Active AD or on-prem AD, which can be um, the agent for that can be downloaded in the download section for the on-prem AD synchronization tool. But effectively, this screen is where you can see what machines have come onto the network um, in X amount of time and which ones are agentless so that you can get your team on making sure that you're tidying up some of the agentless machines out there. So I think that's about it for this video, but I will do a few more smaller ones just to go into some more detail on some other areas of the product.